Super addicting, bro. I don't know what it is. Not even like crazy taste, just like that vanilla like flat taste, man. So addicting. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're back yet again with another WWE action figure toy hunt, man. Very excited. We're actually going out of town here. I'm going to be hitting up some stores in Georgia. Very excited to do so, you know. Uh, hopefully, we find some bangers. Really on the on the lookout for chase figures, man. People have been finding AEW chase figures all over the land, you know. That's my main priority. When I go on a toy hunt, I'm looking for, like, repeat superstars for future customs and keeping them mock and keeping them on ice. And then I'm also looking for chase AEW figures. I think I'm caught up on my mock collection, except for Chase's. And then you have, of course, like, I think Chase AEW figures, and that's it as far as my mock collection goes. But anyways, guys, we're going to go on a toy hunt today. Super excited. I don't, I, I, as far as WWE elites, I mean, I guess it'd be cool to find the movie figures or like the John Cena, Rock, Roddy Piper, any of those. That would be pretty cool. You know, maybe some Ultimate Editions. I don't know. You know, you never know. You never know until we get out there and see. But let's go out there, man. We're going to hit a toy hunt. I'm typically always down for anything, though. Let's just find out what we got, man. I'll see you guys in the store and let's see what happens all right guys here we go store number one what do we have right uh okay we got we got a little decent selection right here a little series four aew action right now this store is actually empty too like there's nobody here we got cody we got kenny omega back here we got sammy guevara in the house very nice right there that's the variant dominic dijakovic very nice never picked up this figure it's kind of a it's a maybe for me honestly i don't know we got some top picks figures, absolute garbage. China, just poor China, man. She is just shelf warm so badly. More top picks. You got some Elite 85, top pick Cena and Drew. More Drew, China. Roman Reigns warming the pegs, surprisingly. More Bray Wyatt, more Roman Reigns. Liv Morgan in the house, John Cena on deck. Jo oh my, God. is that a Miss Elizabeth still chilling back here, man? Miss Elizabeth still out here in the wild, man. So crazy. That's like 10 series ago, which is insane. Still warming the pegs. You got Liv Morgan again, like I said. Elite 85, basics, you know, top pick. I see the top picks everywhere, man. The whole set is here. The whole entire set is right here. So that that's crazy. You got Cody again, like I said. Probably going to grab both the Cody and the Kenny just because, you know, you don't really find those guys at retail. You find those guys at retail, you want to go ahead and grab them. So Kenny and Cody, probably, uh, you know, an automatic buy for me. But not much else. I mean, we got Sammy Guevara in the house. I'm not seeing anything like under or behind or anything like that. You got the slamming cycle, the slambulance, all this stuff. But not seeing anything like worthy of the of the grab outside of you know the the AEW series four figures. But taking a look around right here, man. Again, like there's nobody here, so I don't feel that bad like recording and stuff like that. Missing LeBron head, shaking my head. That's just such a ridiculous trend, man. Stealing the figure's head. We, I, I, I could see, like, somebody doing that in the WWE figures, but I don't know. Just taking a look around. Let me know if you guys see anything you're interested in. I mean, obviously, I'll be gone before I can buy it, but it's crazy because literally nobody's back here, man. Got the Eternals. Some more. Got the Owen Wilson in the house. But I'm going to go to the horror section and see if we can find something else. All right, guys. We are over here in the NECA section. A little bit more busy than the, than the other section, but... You know we're all good over here. Oh, a little Annabelle. Looking pretty good right there. I like that pickup right there. I'm probably going to have to grab it. it. It seems expensive, but... Oh, look at that. And we had some decisions made over here, Brad. Unmatched Miro going on. So we have an unmatched Miro. So that means that somebody said, Nah, I don't want Rey Mysterio and Miro. And they put them up, and now they're... I guess they picked up some NECA figures or something like that. But I'm going to leave them right here. You know, maybe they'll come back for me. got Hellraiser over here. Pretty cool stuff. You got some Ninja Turtles, King Kong, Gremlins. Like, tons and tons of figures, man. Jesus. Pennywise action. Not bad. I mean, dude, there's just so many figures right here. Like, Back to the Future. You got Terminator. You got Gremlins. You got Ghostface from Scream. Friday the 13th. I mean, dude, there's there's so many there's so many figures. You got Friday the 13th remake. You got Pennywise, like I said. You got some Back to the Future. You got Bob Ross. You have, like, part three. I mean, dude, there's so many horror figures right here. Like, my target never looks like this. Like, we only get, like, one or two horror figures, if that. I don't know if that has something to do with, like, I don't know what that has to do with, but you got a little Freddy Krueger action. Oh, I, I like that jacket right there. We got Vegeta, King Kong action right there. Not a bad figure at all. Again, another Freddy Krueger. We got part two Friday the 13th. A lot of stuff. Dude, like, they literally have so many characters. I, I, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, I pretty much have all of these outside of Annabelle. I really like that jacket, man, on that on that uh, 
on that figure right there. Like, I could totally use that for a customer. I don't know, throw it on a, a promo gear. But outside of that, man, I mean, you have the Annabelle. We have uh, we have some other things going. I'm da uh, got some damage to the packaging, but I don't really care about that, honestly. You know, I, I don't really care about the packaging at all. More Gremlins, Stranger Things. We got uh, more Stranger Things pop vinyls. I'm not a pops guy. I mean, they're just so similar. Hero Academia. More pops and plushes and stuff. Yeah, tons of selection, but I, I think I found what I needed here, man. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, guys, we're here at Walmart, and look what we got, man. We actually found the Hollywood Elites. John Cena in the house right here, looking pretty cool from Fast 9. What a great pickup. Can't believe I found it. We got the Rock in here as well from from Hobbs and Shaw. Looking pretty sweet. Uh, just, just a lot of figures, really. We got two of the Rocks. We got two of the Cena. We don't have any Pipers, though. I'm not seeing any Pipers here. Elite 83 McIntyre. Elite 85 Liv Morgan. Dusty. Another McIntyre. Lots of stuff going on here, man. Like, tons and tons of figures at this location, which is pretty insane, to be honest with you. But we got some some uh, Elite 87 in the house with Braun Strowman. We got some, two AEWs. We got Matt Jackson. We got Riho. No chase figures, of course. But uh, tons of figures. Like, so many figures, man. Like, 100 million basics. 100 million basics. Look how many basics we have up here, man. Tons of basics. Tons of battle packs. Like, there's like... I swear to God, there's like 50 battle packs. I'm going to have to count them, but... Look at all these stacks, man. Stacks upon stacks upon stacks of battle packs of that same wave. Like, look at this. Mankind and Stone Cold, Boss Man, and uh, Boss Man and freaking British Bulldog. Like, dude, look at this. Look at all the basics. The Finn Balors and the Erics and Ivars. You got some elites here. Elite 85 Bray. Of course, Movie Cena. Another McIntyre. McIntyre's just warming the shelves everywhere, man. Tons of toy belts. I mean, God heaven at the Boss Man. And the Mankind and the Stone Cold, man, there's so many. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous outside of that, though. I mean, that's not much. Guys, look at this right here. Look at this right here. Even more basics. More Otis basics and Jeff Hardy and all this. Dude, dude so many basics, man. I feel terrible. These are going to rot here for years. Like, years. They're going to have to clear some out for five, five bucks a piece. All right, guys, we have made it back home after the toy hunt. Very successful, I would say. Pretty cool stuff, you know. I did go to one extra Target, and they didn't have Jack-ish. Like, they had a Riho, and they had, like, 76 Drew McIntyres. Like, I feel like that top picks wave is not selling well, man. Everywhere I go, I see Roman, John Cena, Rey Mysterio, and Drew McIntyre. Very slept on set. Very slept on set. I understand the Drew kind of, you know, it's kind of plain Jane. Rey Mysterio, though, like, I felt like those would do pretty good. I get. I, I don't know what the deal is there. You know, hopefully the new, I don't want to see it where, you know, the older top picks Roman and then the newer top picks Roman they're just both shelf warming next to each other so I don't know about that and then the John Cena figure is sick as hell maybe because it's flashback the kids and the people don't know who the hell it is or just what that look is but that's pretty disappointing man but let's go ahead and dive into what we grabbed today on our figure slash toy hunt now you guys do know that we did review the John Cena and Rock movie figures from Hobbs and Shaw and Fast 9 and we did do the review yesterday if you guys missed the review on these figures please go check them out also kind of embarrassed I have figures like laying everywhere man it's an absolute disaster in here but you know it is what it is. Been busy with other projects and stuff like that. So we'll get that going. But John Cena and The Rock, we did grab those. I was very excited to grab those. And the review is already up on the channel. So if you guys want to check those out, definitely go check it out. But let's dive into the rest of what we got. The next figure that we got, guys, was the Annabelle NECA figure. This is one of the figures that I had never had. And since it's the month of October, we're going to use this in future videos. You know, uh, we're halfway through October. So the, the horror videos are about to be busting out. I was going to do one every, every day. But then, like, it didn't seem like you guys were really vibing with it. I didn't know what the deal was there. I didn't know if you guys cared about it. So I think as we get closer to Halloween, we're going to pump out more videos. I want to do a battle royal. I want to do some matches. I want to do a draft. I want to do some more setups for you guys and stuff like that. So let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more horror videos. But we did grab the Annabelle. Very excited to find that in the wild. $35 though about made me shat myself. And rounding out our toy hunt, guys, we did grab a few other things. Now, I don't think that I recorded this portion for some reason. I, th I, I can't remember. I guess I just forgot or something. But I did grab two unmatched Kenny Omegas. Probably gonna leave these on ice. Just, like, if I see this figure at retail, I'm gonna buy it. Customs, head swaps, mock, you know, I, I don't know. Like, some of it, like, it kind of has a bend in the package right there. Like, there's some dents. And then this one's pretty decent, but it's got that same spot, like, right up here. So, I don't know. But a, any Kenny Omega I find at retail, I'm gonna grab it. I mean, that's just one of my unspoken rules for AEW figures. And speaking of which, at that other location, we did go ahead and grab the Series 4 Kenny Omega, and then we have the Series 4 Cody. So, yeah, you, know, you gotta get 
them for the future customs, man. Beautiful looking Series 4 Kenny. I think I already have two of these on ice over there. And then I also have two of this Cody, but what's three, you know? Like, I'm just trying to either play the long game or I'll end up using them for future customs and stuff. So that's typically what I like to do. And it's weird because these were like the only ones there, I think. Or I guess they had, they, I don't know, they had a few there. But it's just odd when I see when I see multiple Kennys chilling on the pegs. It's like, what, what are you doing, Brad? Go ahead and grab those. So I love Kenny Omega, so I went ahead and grabbed those. So we had the two unmatched Kennys. We had the Series 4 Kenny, the Series 4 Cody, the Annabelle figure, and we also got the Rock and John Cena. Very successful out-of-town out of toy hunt. Very great stuff. And that one store had 50 battle packs, man. Do you guys, did you guys see that? I hope I got enough image, or I, I hope I got it on video enough to show you guys. 50 plus battle packs, bro. Like, so many basics, so many battle packs. Those will be there forever. Like, and they had a lot of elite, so I don't know if the area just is terrible or what the deal is there, man, but nobody was buying them. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say there, man. They just weren't buying them. They weren't having it, so I don't know, man. I guess we'll just have to check it out and uh, hope maybe we'll go back there one day and, and see if they have anything, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this toy hunt video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys have been on any any recent successful toy hunts. I'm getting the hell out of here. What do you get? Get it, get it. But that's going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, my AEW Series 7 comes today, and then I can re start the reviews tomorrow. So don't cross the line like the freaking mail delivery system. You cross the line.